dear students in the last class we have studied about the vsepr theory to know about the structures of various molecules vsepr theory predicts the structure of the various molecules and also we have studied about the bond parameters like bond length bond angle bond dissociation energy today let us we study the another theory known as valence bond theory and what this valence bond theory suggest now let us we take the valence bond theory to explain the formation of hydrogen molecule it is based on the concept of atomic orbitals and also the orbital configuration of the atoms according to valence bond theory the cause for chemical bonding is to acquire minimum energy and maximum stability to illustrate this consider the formation of hydrogen molecule and the graph here is potential energy versus the internuclear distance let's two hydrogen atoms ha and hb with their electronic config <coughs> electrons ea and eb approach each other when they are quite away from each other their potential energies are high when they come closer the electron of one atom comes under the nuclear influence of the other atom during this process the following electrostatic attractive and repulsive forces are set up that is nucleus of an atom ha attracts the electron of eb and nucleus of hb attracts the electron of ea these are the two attractive forces similarly nucleus of ha repels the nucleus of hb and electron of a repels the electron of b in the beginning the attractive forces are stronger than the repulsive forces because the atoms are coming from the larger distance to nearer and nearer therefore the atoms keep on approaching and the potential energy of the system goes on decreasing at some critical internuclear distance the potential energy is minimum and a covalent bond is formed this distance represents bond length which is equal to 0.74 angstrom the energy released during the formation of bond between the hydrogen atoms is called bond enthalpy which is equal to 435.8 kilojoules per mole that is when two hydrogen atoms comes from the infinite distance to form a hydrogen molecule during this process energy is released that energy released is 435.8 kilojoules per mole in other words if 435.8 kilojoules of energy is supplied to one mole of hydrogen molecules they dissociate into two hydrogen two moles of hydrogen atoms this is called bond dissociation energy now let us we study the valence bond theory in covalent compounds Hitler and London proposed this theory in 1927 and later modified by Pauling and Slater in 1931 According to valence bond theory covalent bond is formed 
by overlapping of atomic orbitals. Overlapping means the two orbitals share a common region in space. For bonding to occur, each atom should have an unpaired electron of opposite spin. Greater the overlapping of atomic orbitals, stronger is the covalent bond. Maximum electron density creates between the two nuclei because of overlapping of atomic orbitals so that electron pair becomes common to both the nuclei. A stable molecule is formed when there is a decrease in the potential energy of the molecule. Multiple bond formation is possible when there is overlapping of more than one orbitals containing unpaired electrons. The number of covalent bonds formed by an atom is equal to the number of unpaired electrons. The paired electrons cannot participate in bond formation. However, they do so if they get unpaired with the small expenditure of energy. These are all about the main features of valence bond theory. There are three types of overlapping, namely SS overlapping, SP overlapping and PP overlapping. SS and SP overlapping always results the overlapping along the axis. PP overlapping results in two ways that is one is along the axis and another way is sideway overlapping. The covalent bond formed by the axial overlapping of atomic orbitals is called sigma bond. It is stronger bond and the electron cloud is symmetrical about the line joining the two nuclei. Only one sigma bond is possible in between the two nuclei. It is found in SS, SP and PP overlappings. The covalent bond formed by the lateral overlapping or sideway overlapping of atomic orbitals is called pi bond. It is weaker than the sigma bond due to sideway overlapping of atomic orbitals. The electron cloud is unsymmetrical in pi bond. It is formed only after the formation of sigma bond. Maximum two pi bonds are possible between the two atoms and only one sigma bond is possible between the two atoms. Without the sigma bond, there is no pi bonds at all. Based on this concept, let us we study the simple molecules like the hydrogen, HCl, fluorine and oxygen molecule, how they are going to be formed. The hydrogen molecule is formed by the overlapping of 1s orbital of one hydrogen atom with 1s orbital of another hydrogen atom and this overlapping is known as SS overlapping and the bond formed is the sigma bond because these two orbitals overlaps axially. In case of the HCl molecule, 1s orbital of hydrogen overlaps with 3p z orbital of chlorine atom to form sp overlapping. This also leads to the formation of a sigma bond. When we come to the fluorine molecule, in the fluorine, so the unpaired electron is present in a 2p z orbital. Therefore, 2p z orbital of one fluorine overlaps with 2p z orbital of another fluorine resulting in pp overlapping and the bond formed is a sigma bond. 
Let us we consider the another molecule, the oxygen molecule. In the oxygen molecule, two unpaired electrons are in a 2py and 2pz orbitals. So, these two orbitals are perpendicular to each other. So, out of the two, so one orbital overlaps axially and another orbital overlaps laterally. The axial overlapping leads to the formation of sigma bond, lateral overlapping leads to the formation of pi bond. Therefore, we come across the two bonds in oxygen molecule. Now, this is a slide that shows about the valence bond theory. So, whatever we have discussed so far. So, this is also the another the valence bond theory. So, the sum of the, the points in the valence bond theory what we have already discussed. So, this slide shows how a sigma bond is formed between the two atoms by axial overlapping of atomic orbitals and also shows the pi bond which is formed by the lateral overlapping of atomic orbitals. So, this slide shows the pi bond is formed by the lateral overlapping of atomic orbital. So, this is slide is also it gives a clear cut idea a covalent bond is formed by the overlapping of two half filled atomic orbitals of two atoms having electrons with opposite spin. The top one shows SS overlapping and the bottom shows the PP overlapping which results the formation of a pi bond. Yes. This slide also gives a clear cut idea about SS overlapping, PP over SP overlapping and the PP overlapping of atomic orbitals resulting the formation of a sigma bond. And below one shows the formation of a pi bond. Students, in the next class, let us be study about the concept of hybridization and how the hybridization has come into the, the picture. Go through this about the valence bond theory. If you have any doubts, you can ask. Thank you.